So we all know that our favorite orchids naturally grow on trees. Many people live in warm subtropical and tropical climates and they plant orchids in their garden like we do with tulips, but not in pots, rather on trees. For epiphytic orchids to grow attached to something, they need some sort of support and this is their usual state. So how is it done? I'm going to show you using a simple store-bought Phalaenopsis orchid as an example. I will need a thick and sturdy cotton or linen thread, some support material, and a suitable tree. It is better to plant the orchid in a place where there is a fork in the trunk and a branch, for example, to give a large surface for the roots to attach to. But this is not necessary. To create temporary support in warm countries, the bark from palm trees is used, and in cooler climates, it is better to use fresh or dried moss. By the time the orchid has attached its roots to the bark of the tree, which on which you want it to graft onto, the cotton thread and bark, or the moss, will already have decomposed and there will be no more need for them. I gently free the orchid from the pot and I tie it, or lightly tether the roots to the tree. Then I wrap the roots of the orchid with moss, and I also grab some thread and fix it so that it doesn't move. I spread the upper roots so that they can touch the surface of the tree in as many places as possible and can attach the tree as quickly as possible. It is advisable to fix the peduncles as well if you have any cotton thread. Watering such an orchid is pretty simple. Periodically just spray it with a spray bottle if necessary. If it's raining or the air humidity is high, then there is no need to water anything at all since that will be just enough for the orchid. Because of their biological characteristics, healthy orchids can tolerate long periods of up to two months without watering. Orchid root vellum and cells can form strong adhesion on contact with various natural surfaces, even with plastic pots. The orchid is not a parasite and does not harm the tree. It only uses the tree as support in its hard struggle for existence, for moisture and for sunlight. In cold climates, attaching an orchid to a tree on the street is not desirable for obvious reasons. But you can try this at home on a ficus or a palm tree, for example, or even on a decorative snag. Before doing this, make sure that the roots of the orchid are healthy and have a sufficient thick layer of velamen. It is easy to determine they should be a grayish ash green color. If the roots of the orchids are simply green, then the velamen is thin and such an experiment may fail and the organ may simply become dehydrated and die. Mm -hmm.